Welcome back to Uncle Back to Cookery Lessons. I'm going to make some very delicious cheese sable biscuits today. It's an incredibly quick, easy uh, recipe. Won't take long to show you, and uh, I hope you uh, really enjoy them. So what you can see me doing here is I'm working this butter. I want to make it soft. It's been out of the fridge actually for about an hour or so, so that helps a lot. Once you feel that you've got it broken down, you need to mix in the cheese. The cheese there has been finely grated. That is a Grand Padano cheese, not the Reggiano, but either one is fine. You, you, you probably won't notice the difference in fact. So it's going to take me a minute or so to get that to work in, and I'll come back to you. It's about a minute later. You can see now that the cheese has really worked well into the butter. I want to add in the paprika that I have next to me. I'm just going to pop that in in a second. It's a smoked paprika. I really like that smoky flavour with this. You can replace that with anything you want or nothing at all. Uh, cayenne would be very nice, chilli, uh, pepper, whatever you want really. It's a personal taste. I'm just going to take a minute or so to work that in and then we're going to add in the flour. In goes the flour. Now I'm going to try to work it in with this spatula. Um, and I felt like I wasn't really getting anywhere at all. The best tool in the kitchen will be your hands, and this is definitely a case where you just need to go in with your hands. So I've, you can enjoy me struggling with this bachelor for a second, but I'll bring you back in a minute when I've, uh, when I've seen the light. So, there we go. Spatula rid of. In goes the hand. This is the best tool in the kitchen. Now it will seem like this uh, dough is just maybe a fraction dry, it, it isn't actually, it does come together I promise you, but if you really do feel like it's not going to work, what I suggest you do is just run your hand under the cold tap just to get a wet hand and that, you'll be surprised that just that little addition of moisture would definitely be enough, but uh, I assure you this does come together and I will bring you back at that moment. I promised you it would come together and here we are. So the dough. There we are, I'm just still working on it, but it's basically come together. But what I want to do now is I want to chill it down. It's much easier to work with this when it's cold than when it's in this condition. So I'm going to wrap it up, but first of all what I'm going to do is I want to form it into a cylinder shape. Because that, that then is going to form the round shape that I'm going to cut these biscuits into. Okay, the cheese sable dough has had about an hour or so in the fridge to cool down. It basically solidifies, makes it much easier to work with. So what I'm doing here is cutting them into about half a centimetre rounds and I have a lined baking tray there next to me with baking paper. I'm just going to arrange them on there. Please make sure you leave a gap between each biscuit because they will spread out. These biscuits have had 15 minutes in an oven at 180 degrees centigrade. I needed to turn them halfway through because you know it's not the most perfect oven in the world, but that's uh, that's definitely enough to cook them. They're lovely and golden brown. Try try to be a little bit more careful than I was just there when I put them on the cooling rack, and also do leave them for at least 10 minutes to cool down. They're really really delicate, but also you get a bit of tummy ache if you uh, eat them when they're fresh out of the oven. There you go. Very, very simple recipe for unbelievably delicious and crumbly, seriously crumbly cheese sable biscuits. These are just slightly warm now. Um, they are brilliant. You can um, cream cheese on top of them, some dried tomatoes, whatever you want, but to be honest with you, just like that, they're wonderful. Um, have a crack at them and um, let me know in the comments how you get along. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. Bye then.